Good day guys, come here. Welcome to Langreaser 3.0 News from the Future. So, ta-da! What you're looking at right now is the long-awaited winner of the voted next XP hero, Nani Nani SP Sherry. So, yep, uh, as you can see right now, apparently this is a leak photo. That's why the quality of the image it's not that high so until the official design and details from Zilong in the meantime you just got to bear with this I got to say it, um well uh, gosh I really wish to see some cute ladies doing the cosplay even though the image is kind of blur blur whoa sorry Kind of blur but well you definitely can tell she's just wearing a swimsuit okay a mizuki and basically just some very sexy swimsuit with a bunch of cloth and some accessories and no metallic armor aside from the holy x blade she's holding and yep apparently she won the vote uh, with a very scary outcome because the first place and second place are nowhere close where the second place which is Leon just having a vote count of eight digits and Sherry had it with her with nine digits so yep congratulations again and okay because it's a leak and non well possibly non finalized information so it was an end of video I will not be showing the English translations of the skills until the officials comes out so sorry guys and all right before we begin a very great thanks to information shared and provided by the Langreza data bank Monghua Moni Zhan so all right are you ready here we go so okay some image details on her new skin so yep Apparently, a uh, very great intentions from Zilong is that uh, right now all SP characters that they made will be receiving new skin coverage with those skin that has already come out previously. So, yep, it's a good news for players who wanted to see their SP characters have, uh, able to use the previous skin that they have already purchased <clears throat> so all right this will be some of the stats so as usual her attack is to s and if i'm not wrong the only minor changes here will be that um her defense and magic defense it was previously her magic defense should be a and defense should be b instead but now the well the sequence have changed and yep I'm kind of shocked that her class, which initially observed by me and a lot of players, we thought it will be assassin class, but no, nope. it is holy or holy monk. Um, for her case, will be holy nun class. So, yep, is really unexpected. I mean, well, look at the way she behave in the game. She's definitely anything but holy i mean if you tell me she's gonna be darkness faction i will really believe it and all right um let's say kind of disappointed so okay in some ways like the first being the units that she unlock will be unicorn so not a very creative thing since they since they have give that to elwin so not sure if the intention is just doing more like a like trying to couple her up with Elwin. Okay, next will be the Bond. So for the Princess Bond, so at level four, when being attacked and gone into going to battle, magic damage received will be reduced by ten percent. So okay, kind of disappointing. I was expecting something like. When going to battle, damage taken will reduce by 10%, but it is only specifically for magic damage only. So, yep. And level 7, 
when receiving physical attack and going to battle damage increased by 10% again it's very weird um, she's supposed to be more like a Russia attacker and apparently the bomb effects are something more of how do I say it? Mm, it sounds at least from my perspective it sounds more like it is something for tanker like landers would need it more but then again until the actual information or actual place I'll, this is just my observations so right so the true things that I am kind of disappointed will be the talent but all right just bear with me guys so the talent will be country reviving princess or country rejuvenating princess or empire revival princess so maybe I'll go with that okay so I'll just describe the talent at level 6 only and this is how her new icon will look like just to highlight that yup Nani Nani Sherry is a princess Okay, so I rank 6 when moving units or terrains that can be pass or passable by units will be treated as flat terrain when being attacked and going to battle damage taken will be reduced by 20% when you actively go into battle increase your attack by 25% after battle if two there are two squares or tiles around sherry the enemy units are one or below she will be able to act again for this effects to happen again it will take two turns to be triggered so all right gonna do a quick summarize so number one when moving all terrains that units can pass will be treated as flat land so yeah basically there's no obstacle so this comes the question why do they give her unicorn so yep okay number two when being attacked and go into battle damage taken will be reduced by 20 percent okay this is good number three when you actively go into battle increase attack by 25% okay number four after battle if there are no enemy two squares or tiles around sherry or the enemy units around her is one or below she can act again number five for this effect to trigger again it will take two turns so yep I gotta say I'm very dis disappointed is the effect in a way or or not it's kind of just well just copy paste from her original talent but put it another way around so it's not very creative and I don't feel it's at least half of it is not that special or useful I mean instead of Letting your heroes able to pass through flat terrain, I would rather use dragons to fly over. <laughs> and that's how I feel, so... And for her anger gain effects, um, to trigger this, you got to plan your step wisely. You gotta make sure after battle, so yep, after battle, if there are two, then one on one and below enemies or two squares or tiles around her then she can act again so it need a bit of precision timing for this trigger so in my context i don't think it's good okay and now let us move on to look at the two new skills so right number one will be gallop so okay instead of flying she's galloping now and she's not riding a horse well okay it's a 1c skill and it's a passive skill so right okay it's definitely very good about the skill 
Okay, number one, increase units movement by two. Number two, when you are mixed units at the end of a turn, recover units HP by 30%. So right, I think this effect is kind of good and that's the reason why they are giving Sherry Unicorn instead but no matter what, it just sounds like they are encouraging players to use the original class and talent instead because the original dragon talent, no, the dragon's movement is plus 5 and this passive allow her plus two so why not to use back dragon you get plus seven and i can just switch my flying you uh soldiers to well okay unicorn so go ahead and i'll get an effect so this question will be back at then what's the point of using the talent hmm. Now again guys, this is just my speculation and how I feel and I'm not trying to say that it is not good. Who knows when it's out, she will be very strong. Alright, the last skill, Holy Lightning, Sere Senle, alright. Now I'm just going to tra translate it as Holy Lightning. So yup, it's a 3 CD, 2 cost skills with an attack range of only 1. It's a single targeting skill. So physical attack, <clears throat> attack a single enemy, do 1.5 times damage and cause position shifting effects. It will push target away from the place they are currently standing away from it by two squares or tiles. After battle, recover the damage due of 20% to HP and cause enemy passive skills to be disabled and it will last for a turn so right uh, i gotta say this is a very good skill not that good but definitely good because right now sherry will be having two skills that will give her hp recovery so one will be in her tree c and now this will be the sp holy lightning so okay it has 1.4 times damage and you will cause Position shifting of enemy, push them away to two squares or tiles. But the main thing is after battle, you'll recover 20% of the damage due as HP. And not only that, they will cause enemy passive effect to be disabled. However, it only lasts for a turn. So I'm gonna give it like 7 out of 10 points. It's alright. A quick summarize of the skills again so number one physical damage do 1.5 times damage to enemy number two it will do position shifting and it will kick enemy away to two squares or tiles from their original positions number three after battle heal back 20% of the damage due to enemy as HP number four it will cause enemy passive effect to be lost and you'll last for a turn so all right so basically that's all for sp sherry okay sorry that if i sound kind of biased against the effect i guess because i am very excited and expect great achievement for her but maybe that's not what i expected however what did you guys think Leave it down, the, leave it down, sorry, leave your thoughts down in the comment sections below. And, or if you have any suggestions, do, we, do write it down there. So, alright, we'll see you guys on the next video, which I will showcase the upcoming two new characters from the Reincarnations Factions. And then we will be going through on new tree seeds. So, alright, remember to like and subscribe my videos. And thank you for liking the video. This is Kami. We'll see you guys. And goodbye.